hello by the title of this video you're gonna know what's going on this is plant time this mirror out of the way we're not doing makeup we're talking about plants looking at the trees outside plants everywhere so i am just a plant enthusiast i love having plants in my house love getting new plants i just love taking care of them when they die i get so sad um because some of my plants do die because I don't know what I'm doing but I still enjoy them so this is by no means an expert opinion I don't know scientific names of the plants I just know that I like these plants these are the ones I have most of them the ones I'm gonna show you have been doing pretty well in my house um, so yeah we're just gonna get into it I'm going to show you um, and then we'll just go from there. So first plant I'm going to start with is one of my absolute favorites. First two plants I'm going to show you are my two favorites. Um, so the first one is a pothos. I've also heard people call it pathos. Um, to each his own, whatever you want. There are different varieties of them. At my job we had a couple different varieties so meant to bring it in here didn't bring it in here um, you can actually cut little clippings off of these guys and grow a whole new plant so I actually have a clipping of a neon pothos from my job that is growing but I don't know the different variations of these two um, I just know I have this one you know we keep the little, the little thing in there but um this one is so cute. He has like a ton of new, shiny, beautiful leaves. Shiny baby. Um, I keep this guy. Um, he does not get direct sunlight. He gets kind of indirect sunlight. It's up on a top shelf. I usually water my plants like every week or so. It just depends. These guys, you kind of want the soil to dry. And then water them again they kind of come and stand a lot which is really cool so like that's why we have them at work because people forget to water them there is no actual natural light in the mall um, but yeah this is the other variety I have you can see the leaves are so beautiful um, this guy has like a whole little tail that's what I love about pothos is that they can just grow and grow and grow and then you can just cut them make new ones they just vine down I just really love that so those are my pothos I have one more kind of big guy and then I also have the little little clipping the next one I'm gonna talk about is snake plant give me a second to gather them all up okay so now I have my snake plants, which are probably my absolute favorite plant ever. Excuse me. I have a tattoo of one that my baby Brooke did for me. Um, so I have this guy. He's very tall, leaf right here. And he's got so many new little babies coming up in there. It's just like in a pot, in a pot, so that I can actually like drain it. Um, a side note. Uh, again, not an expert. You don't have to judge me based on the pots that I'm in, that my plants are in, how I keep them, whatever it is. If you want to give advice, I would love for that. But if you want to criticize me, you can just save it. Um, so yeah, this guy I've had for actually quite a while, probably a year and a half, maybe more. So he's been doing really good, really well. And I have this big guy, hold on. this Papa. Um, I bought him pretty big. He's grown a little bit I would say. Um, but I just love the big ones. I gotta keep this one on my floor. Um, oh sorry this is all like all over the place but the other pothos that I showed you. I keep that one. I have this shelf. If you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen it. Um, Ikea shelf right in front of my window so this does get pretty direct light that's why I think it's growing so well um, the first snake plant I keep on that top shelf with the first pothos 
So again, like indirect sunlight, the snake plants can really just like hold their own. So I water them pretty infrequently. I know as it's gonna get warmer, I definitely wanna water them more. Um, and then the big one, I just keep on the floor by the window. So it kind of gets like indirect sunlight because of the way the windows are. Um, yeah. So then this next guy, one of my favorite plants because my mom had this, had these plants when I was little and hers had all the little spider babies, the spider rats, they're so cute. So this is my spider plant. I actually got this as a little baby um, from my friend Galen. Hello Galen if you're watching. Um, and he has sprouted so well. When I first got him I thought I was killing him. He just like wasn't growing but I think it's because he needs lots of sunlight. So I put him on that shelf from Ikea. He gets lots of sunlight. He's been sprouting. He has like three little shoots I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have three more that I'm going to talk about. Um, I have more plants than that. It's just that they're either more snake plants, more pothos. I'm not sure what they are. So maybe someone can help me on Instagram. Or they're doing really bad. So I'm not going to show that. Um, I have a... I don't know. I think it's like an arrowhead plant, but I'm actually not sure. It does have kind of those like arrow shaped leaves, but it is not doing good. So someone can help me. That'd be great. I also have a Sansevieria cylindrica, which is Sansevieria is the scientific term for snake plant. So I have a cylindrica, which kind of looks more like a starfish. They call it a, a starfish plant or a very starfish so cool we've had that one for so long that is kind of joe's plant its name is patrick none of these plants have names that are here um patrick and he has lots of babies in there with him he's killing it but part of his one of his like arms looks really bad like it looks like it's rotting and i don't know what to do i don't know if he needs to be repotted we already potted repotted him one time I've taken one of his babies out before, that one died, so if you have any advice on that, that would be great. Uh, give me one second to grab our next babies. Okay, so I actually have four more plants. Um, oh, and I just remembered I have another plant in my bedroom, but I've, again, I have no idea what it is. It's like pink and green, it's so beautiful, but it was suffering a little bit, and then I moved it, and now it looks like it's doing better, but these two are so special to me, especially the first one I'm going to tell you about. This is my ponytail palm. Like, look at her. Her leaves are like curly. I've wanted one of these for so long and I finally was able to get one. And I just love her. She is stunning. She's like this fat trunk. Like it's a tree, you know? And that guy, actually both of these, two palms, I keep on the top shelf of that Ikea shelf um, because they get like a little bit they're like kind of above the window a little bit so they don't get as like much light I kind of like play around and see how certain plants do in certain spaces and also when you get a new plant you should usually try to keep it like away from your other plants just in case it has like spider mites anything that could infect your other plants speaking of coronavirus the virus of the plants um, and I've had a parlor palm before and it died. And I don't know why. So I'm gonna see how it goes with this one. I don't know if it's just like where I kept it. It was like not really getting a lot of light. So now I have it where it's getting more light. So this is actually a parlor palm. So beautiful. I really love palms. I would love to have like big palm trees when I have my own place, like my own house. Um, Cause right now I just feel like with the cat and it's just like not the best situation. Um, but yeah, I think the palms, I give like maybe a little more water. Usually with my plants, I just feel the soil. If it's wet, usually don't have to water them again. And if it's not, you give it a little bit of water. A lot of them I have in pots where it has the drainage on the bottom. So like the extra can kind of run out and then I can soak it back up if it needs it, which is pretty cool. I'm going to grab our last two little guys and then we'll be all set. Okay. 
so this first plant I have seen these type of plants or maybe like a similar kind and just think they're so beautiful so like plants are just so cool because they can have different colors they can have different like variegation which is like the the way the color is in their leaves like this is you know different it's like variegated I think I'm not an expert um but this guy which says he is a philodendron monstera adesoni adesoni I don't know man but look at these leaves oh my god just grows like that looks like swiss cheese and this one has like a couple different little uh shoots in here I got this one pretty recently if you live by me there is a nursery called hicks which I just love. It is so beautiful in there. It just like makes me want all the plants. They have like a, um, they do like a flower show, which it was supposed to be probably right when the quarantine started. So I guess that didn't really happen. Unless they're still open, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got this guy. This was $30. It came in this pot. Um, so, you know, teach his own about spending money on plants. Um, I've seen some plants, I got uh, a string of dolphins, it was like 60 bucks or something like that, and I was like, I couldn't, because if I kill it, I'll be upset. Um, that guy, I keep in that big shelf in my house, if you've seen that, I have these like built-in shelves, and I keep it on the bottom shelf, so it kind of gets like indirect light at certain points of the day. Um, and I'm just seeing how he's doing there and it seems like he's doing pretty well, which is great. And then this guy, this is a Peperomia, I believe. That's what it says, so we're gonna hope that that's right. Um, this guy I keep in my bedroom by the window and he does get quite a lot of light and he's had, he's grown up, like he hasn't been this tall since I had him. So like he's grown a lot, I see like a little sprout coming out. Um, I just think this is so beautiful. These new leaves are so like waxy and shiny and just gorgeous. I have another plant, kind of a similar look, but it's so cool. I think it might be a Pilea or maybe a Peperomia or are they the same thing? Please let me know. Um, kind words. But it is so cool, but I just don't want to bring it in here because I'm not really sure about it. But this guy, yeah, I keep by the window in my bedroom. He seems to be thriving. I really love that. Um, yeah, so those are my plants. Maybe I will insert just like a little tour of where they are, where they live, how they look when they're in their homes. Um, so yeah, I think I'll put that after this. So stay tuned for like a plant tour, you know? Okay, so first we're in my bedroom. This is that little guy and I just keep him on this little shelf. Then I have this guy over here, which is what I was talking about with the pink and the green leaves. I'm not exactly sure what he is, so if anyone could give any advice, that would be great. So then we move into the living room, which we've got these guys down here. That's Patrick on the right. We won't get close so we don't see his suffering. That's that philodendron. Then you move up here. We've got the pothos snake plant, pothos snake plant, all the babies. Then you've got this big guy, he sits right here. Then this is that Ikea shelf that I was talking about. It's super cheap and really great, honestly. So you've got the ponytail palm, parlor palm, I think that's a cast iron plant, which is kind of doing poorly. Then you got the clipping of the pothos, the spider plant, and then the other pothos. You got a rough looking cactus and that other little guy I was talking about. Then you got this guy down here, like a succulent of some sort. I, I don't really pay attention to him. And then that other one, which I don't know what it is. So if you can fill me in, that'd be great. And then I just got one more little snaky boy over here. They're my favorites <laughs> everywhere. Um, so that is it for my plant tour. Thank you so much for watching. 
hope you enjoyed it, maybe you learned something, probably not because I have no idea what I'm talking about. If you can give it any advice, that would be great. Love you guys, bye!